Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. This is for a Libra, Elemental Sign. Hey, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To like, at least press the thumbs up button if you like the video. And subscribe if you don't want to forget me for two weeks. And also, don't forget to check the comment section because I do have a web page site that I am testing where I'm doing a lot of writing. And I've opened up a page where you can leave uh, questions or answers about the readings so we can get more detail to the readings and see how it might apply to your own personal situation. There is no charge, no cost for that. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. The Libra may be feeling like they are overlooking uh, some issues, especially in their private life. Uh, pertaining to a partner to keep the peace uh, and to stay happy, to, to, to stay content. It's almost like, um, <clears throat> hear no evil. We're going to keep that and we're going to get the one that fell out. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. So just trying to keep the peace, but they know deep down inside. They know deep down inside. And I think you said this before for Leo, that something is off. Their intuition won't let them forget, won't let them deny. The Libra's intuition is heightened in the first two weeks of March 2018. There's a heightened level of intuition. This can also be intuition more than denial, guys. So let's do that two ways. There's an aspect of denial for some Libras. But for other Libras, there's a heightening of intuition. And reacting on this to intuition to bring about a positive result or change by reacting to this intuition, not ignoring it. Yes, it's just, it feels like it can go two ways. If the Libra is not following their intuition in the first two weeks of March 2018, they very well might miss out on uh, opportunity. Uh, it will be better for the Libra. We have two major arcana. We have something like the Emperor and we have the Hierophant. It's going to be better for the Libra energy to react to their own gut instinct versus deny or ignore their own gut instinct, especially if it has to do with a partner. So again, it feels like trying to avoid confrontation, but it may be necessary to take this on, to recognize and bring something to the fore, to bring something out of the shadow, to bring something out of the shadow and address it, get it over with, solve the problem, confront the person. If you would like to move forward in a more positive way. So that can also be an aspect of this. You guys, I'm going to recover the card. So I'm going to cut the video for a second, grab the card, and then come back. So just a second. So this was the card that I recovered. This is a card of <laughs> silence. So staying quiet to keep the peace. And this is a card of the strategist. This is a part of the strategy for the Libra energy. They feel like it will bring them more benefit right now, especially in a relationship, but this can also be in a work situation to uh, be a more quiet observer. And also perhaps waiting for the opportunity to strike or to confront waiting for the time where it will be most beneficial or waiting for proof if they suspect a partner or a colleague of wrongdoing. Trying to get the 
foundation so that if they come forward with this, they have proof. This can also be an aspect of the synergy. So let's see what else we have here. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March. We have the Three of Swords. We have, so interesting, I love using the double decks because you really see what happens when you're dealing with two decks of 78. We have the Ten of Cups two times. And we have the Nine of Swords. So it seems to me like the Libra knows that there's something that they will have to tackle and deal with, but perhaps right now everything seems fine, especially if they stay quiet and they take their diplomatic approach to challenges, that it will work for a bit more time. It seems to be quite effective, but something is niggling and bothering still the Libra that they can't deny or they can't forget or they can't put it down. They won't let it go. It's every chance to be happy or to be content. Um, but something is still bothering them, especially something that happened in the past that maybe they actually saw or they witnessed. It feels more like something they felt, but maybe they never got that confirmation. So they let it lay. They let it they let it stay in the background. They didn't bring it up, but it's bothering them a bit now. And we have the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords. It's just something that they can't let go. And this could also be someone doing this to the Libra, calling them out perhaps on something that they did to someone else, not even to them, but using this as a reason to put the Libra under a microscope, someone else not letting something go. We have a major arcana, the sun. We have the knight of cups. And we have the two of pentacles. This is the thought deck, guys. So right now, the Libra is, has every, every possibility to be quite content. For the first two weeks, this energy is riding the first two weeks, but there is still something in the background of all this that is troubling the Libra, or something that they can't forget, or something that they can't let go, or someone may be doing this also with the Libra, not letting them forget a mistake or a failure, and using this uh, to make, excuse me for that, to make the Libra feel guilty, dealing with guilt, dealing with some guilt. So let's see if we have anything else come through for Libra. I pulled quite a few guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to look at all of these. Uh, we have the Page of Swords. We have the Moon, Major Arcana. We have the Tower, Major Arcana. We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Coins, two times the Four of Cups, and finally, Patience. Trying to resolve a multitude of challenges and issues still held over from the past. Not being able to forget the past and to let the past go, especially mistakes or failures. And it feels more like the Libra is doing this to themselves more so than others doing this to the Libra. This is kind of the prevailing underwriting energy to a great deal of happiness. It's a happy time. It's a great time. But a part of the Libra is feeling restricted because they can't forget. And it could also be that they cannot forgive. They cannot forgive themselves. Or perhaps they cannot forgive others. So the best advice for that Libra elemental sign over the next two weeks is to try to be patient and cognizant of your emotions and feelings. And be patient with yourself. Not pressure yourself to 
do something you're not ready to do yet. Not being pressured into forgiving or forgetting. If you haven't reached that point uh, within your own self. So that's what I have for Libra for the first two weeks of March 2018. You guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you back in two weeks. Bye-bye, guys.